Hi, this is Cell Biology Video 2. Today I'm going to be talking about phospholipids and the importance of membrane fluidity. Let's go to the market board and talk about the basic structure of a phospholipid and why phospholipids arrange themselves in lipid bilayers in the first place. The basic structure of a phospholipid are two parts, a hydrophilic head and a hydrophobic tail, which consists of hydrocarbons. Now, when in water or solution, um, obviously on the extracellular side and the cytosolic side, there's water. So these phospholipids arrange themselves naturally in a lipid bilayer, like so, with the hydrophilic heads on the cytosolic cyto so, solid side. cytosolic side and the extra cellular side. So there's water here, water here, and the hydrophobic tails aggregate in the center to avoid any water molecules. So if you picture this as being a complete circle and a complete sphere, you can see that water would not be in the center of the membrane. However, these hydrocarbon tails um, actually change depending on the temperature of the, of the solution. So it's kind of like a homeostasis mechanism. If the temperature is high, the cell is going to maintain uh, fluidity by keeping as many single bonds in the hydrocarbon chain, so alkene, alkanes rather than alkenes. Whereas if the temperature starts to drop, to maintain uh, fluidity so the cell doesn't actually freeze, uh, you know, stay in place and become rigid, the double, double bonds will start to form on the hydrocarbon chains, making these little, instead of here, like an alkane, you'll have these kinks in the chain which again just create basic steric hindrance and don't allow other phospholipids to be quite as close so they're not as bunched together. The cell membrane has to maintain fluidity for a few reasons. One would be uh, mobility. The cell membrane would not be able to exercise endocytosis, exocytosis, any kind of phagocytosis or pinocytosis. Um, also, intercellular membranes or intercellular uh, proteins in the membrane would not be able to move if the cell was uh, rigid or hard. So, cholesterol actually also will create steric hindrance and aid in um, cell membrane fluidity by just simply being there. If it creates spaces between the phospholipids allowing the phospholipids to be further apart. And again, this is regulated by temperature and a few other um, environmental factors. And the cell will actually regulate itself depending on the temperature. If it drops too low, alkenes will form in the hydrocarbon tails and the temperatures higher, single bonds will be favored. Just again, due to steric hindrance. But um, if you have any questions, please email me, and thank you for watching.